welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming my birthday makeup look that I posted on my Instagram the other day. I'll leave the link to it down below if you want to see that post or maybe I'll just put a picture of it here. But I asked you guys if you wanted to see a tutorial and the majority of you said yes. Um, please don't think this is going to be something totally different. Because it was my birthday I wanted to kind of well, do a look that I know that I love which of course as you guys probably know is a bronze kind of smoky eye but this time I added a bit of glitter and did my hair I actually am wearing, don't know if you can tell, but I've got hair extensions in so this is why I've kind of made it like a birthday glam makeup and hair get ready with me because I never normally wear hair extensions but because it was my birthday kind of wanted to do that little bit extra so let me know if you guys like my hair with extensions in my hair is already long anyway it's kind of just for the layers and stuff and these are from beauty works and i like i said i've never worn extensions before but these are some of the nicest it literally feels like real hair they're so comfortable um so i'll leave um the details about these down below and i do have a coupon code for you guys so i will leave that in the description bar down below as well if you guys want to get your hands on some of these extensions but yeah without rambling on too long let's just jump into it as always I'm doing my eyebrows first using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in medium brown. Then I am priming my eyelids using my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Please excuse my hands throughout this video, I know they're awful, but I am using my Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Chickadee as my initial transition shade and just buffing that into the crease. Then I am further deepening the socket with Cocoa Bear also from Makeup Geek. For the lid shade, I'm using two foiled eyeshadows, one in the shade In the Spotlight and one in the shame, shame? In the shade Flame Thrower. So I'm just concentrating the In the Spotlight shade in the inner third of my eye and then using Flame Thrower as the outer shade. Then I am just going in with a fluffy brush and buffing that out and pressing the beige OCC glitter on the top of where we place the In the Spotlight shadow using the Max Mi MAC Mixing Medium in the eyeliner form to adhere it to the eye. Then going in with a dark brown shimmery shade, I'm just using that to further deepen the socket and almost create a soft cut crease kind of look. To deepen further and finally I'm using Corrupt from Makeup Geek which is basically just a matte black really softly in the crease to add to the soft cut crease look that we'd created with the brown shade and going in with a fluffy brush to make sure there's no harsh lines. So you guys know I love a wing so as always I'm going in with a wipe and cleaning up the edges. I'm then using a white eyeshadow to highlight my brow bone and inner corner. Then using my NYC liquid liner to create a flick. I have tutorials on eyeliner and eyebrows in the description down bar below. As always, I just find they're kind of boring to do on camera all the time. Then going in with my Velvet 59 My Fair Lashes Mascara, just to apply a light coat because we're going in with lashes. These are the Exquido Lashes in the, sh in the style Illumina and I have a code in the description bar below for them as well. Then onto the face, just to hydrate my face, I'm using my MAC Fix Plus. Then using my Olay Flawless Blur and Hydration Primer, just to get ready for foundation. For foundation, I'm using my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk in the shade 6 and buffing that in with a Sigma F80 Kabuki brush. <music> 
Proper concealer, I am taking two. One is more to my skin color shade and one is more for highlighting. Uh, it's NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard and then the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Warm. And then I'm just blending that in with a damp beauty blender. For a cream contour, I'm using the Bobbi Brown Foundation Stick in the shade Almond number 7 and then to blend that in more naturally, I'm using the Chanel, Chanel? <laughs> the Chanel Soleil de Tan just because that's slightly lighter and so it creates more of a flawless transition, I'd say. To set all those creams, I am just dousing myself in Fix Plus and then pressing that into my skin with a beauty blender. Then using my Neve Cosmetics Translucent Powder in the shade Nude to, hi to highlight, yeah, to kind of enhance the highlight under my eyes. And then using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in the shade Give Me Sun, I'm using that to set my contour and add a bit more warmth to my skin. For highlighting, I'm using the Laura Geller Baked Illuminator in the shade Gilded Honey and just applying that light, nicely, what the hell, like softly to the tops of my cheekbones and then using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter in the shade Starlight, which is more of an iridescent pearl finish. I am just pressing that on the top. Back onto the eyes, I'm going back in with Coco Bear and just running that under my eyes with a pencil brush and then using the shade Chickadee to kind of soften the edges and blend it out on a fluffier brush. For lips, I wanted to keep it pretty simple because I was going out for dinner, so I'm just using the Tanya Burr Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the shade Daydream because I knew I could always just reapply this really easily if it was to come off while I was eating or drinking. This is the end result of the makeup. Like I said, it's nothing too dissimilar that you haven't seen before, but it's one of my favourite looks. But now, onto the hair. So I'd already pre-curled my hair using my Numi 5-in-1 Curler and the Thickest Barrel. This is the full head weft and I only used one of these on my hair. Uh, then I used, uh, this is the mid-size weft and again I only used one of them. And this is the face framing weft and I used both of these. So here I'm just showing you how I curled them. It's pretty much self-explanatory in the sense that I just split it in half and then wrapped the hair around the wand and held it for about 15 to 20 seconds to get a loose curl like so. I have more hair detail and information in the description bar down below but I am just separating my hair. I think I do two big layers and then two smaller layers but for the smallest layer, well the smallest layer, the first layer, I am taking up the majority of my hair and just leaving enough for me to clip in the full size weft. I back comb the roots and spray them with hairspray before applying the weft and do that for every layer basically. So here's a sped up version pretty soon of me applying my hair extensions. It was the first time doing it so I have no idea what they looked like from the back. I think they were okay but they turn alright in the end. So enjoy.
this is everything all finished hair and makeup i really hope you guys liked it leave future video suggestions you'd like to see in the comments down below whether it's just makeup looks or you want to or the halloween looks that you want to see i'm really excited to start filming them for you guys make sure to give this video a thumbs up and follow me on all my social medias but until next time i'll see you soon